my dear students we shall discuss how to construct a binary tree from a given post order traversal and in order traversal we can construct a binary tree whenever we are given post order traversal and in order traversal we shall consider one example this is our post order and this is our in order also we know in post order first the left sub tree is processed then the right sub tree is processed and at last the root is processed very important in post order the root is processed at the end at last and also we know in order in in order first the left sub tree is processed then the root is processed then the right sub tree is processed now carefully observe the post order what is the last element in the post order a meaning a should be the root of the tree yes a is the root of the binary tree a we shall make a as the root of the binary tree and we will mark a in in order also now carefully observe the in order all the elements to the left of a should be in the left sub tree and all the elements in the uh, to the right of a should be in the right sub tree therefore h c b d i are in the left sub tree and k f j e l g are in the right sub tree now since it is post order we will consider k f j e l g among k f j e l g which is the root which is the parent see the post order so what is the last one e therefore e is the parent yes e is the parent we shall make e as the parent and we'll mark e also in in order just observe in the in order there are three elements k f j which are to the left of e and two elements l and g to the right of e therefore k f j should be in the left sub tree of e and l g should be in the right sub tree of e yes we will write down that very good now among l g which is the parent see the post order so what is the last one g therefore g is the parent yes g is the parent we'll make g as the parent and we'll mark in the in order if you carefully see the in order l is the left child of g therefore l is the left child of g yes very good l is the left child of g very good now among k f j which is the root see the post order f the last one is f therefore f is the uh, root so we'll make f as the parent here parent or root both are same then we'll mark f in the in order now carefully understand k is to the left of f and j is to the right of f therefore k is the left child of f and j is the right child of f very good now the right sub tree is completely over let us come to the left sub tree among h c b d i which is the parent which is the root see the post order b therefore b is the root yes b is the root we'll make b as the root and we'll mark b in the in order now see the in order to the left of b we have hc to the right of b we have di therefore hc should be in the left sub tree of b and di should be to, to should be in the right sub tree of b yes we'll may mark that hc and di now among di which is the root see the post order d is the root d is the root we'll make d as the root and we'll mark in the in order observe in the in order i is the right child of d therefore i is right child of d yes i is the right child of d very good now among hc which is the root see the post order c yes c is the root and we'll mark c also observe in order h is to the left of c therefore h should be the left child of c yes h is the left child of c very good this is our binary tree so we were given a post order and we were also given an in order i think alternatively seeing the post order and in order and little careful observation we constructed a binary tree quite easy quite simple now let us take one more example so in this example this is our post order and this is our in order and which is the root of the tree see the post order last element should be the root therefore 20 is the root yes 20 is the root of the binary tree we will mark 20 and 20 will mark in the in order also you can just see all the elements to the left of 20 should be in the left sub tree 
all the elements to the right of 20 should be in the right subtree. We'll make a note of that. Yes, all these are in the left subtree. All these are in the right subtree. Now, see the right. Uh, because it is post order, therefore we have to consider the right. Among 23, 25, 27, 30, 35, 40, which is the root? See the post order. What is the last 30? 30 is the root. Very good. 30 is the root. We will make 30 as the root and we will make a note in the in order also. Now, in in order, carefully observe to the left of 30, we have 23, 25, 27. To the right of 30, you have 35 and 40. Therefore, 23, 25, 27 should be in the left subtree and 35, 40 should be in the right subtree of 30. Yes, 25, 20, 23, 25, 27, left subtree and 35, 40 in the right subtree. Very good. Now, rightmost, 35, 40, which is the root among 35, 40? See the post order, 40. Yes, 40. 40 is the root and we will mark it in the in order also. 35 is to the left of 40. Therefore, 35 is the left child of 40. Yes, 35 is the left child of 40. Yes, 35 is the left child of 40. And it is marked in both in order and post order. Very good. Now, among 23, 25, 27, which is the root? 25. See the post order. 25. Yes, 25. We'll mark. And also we'll mark the same in the in order. 25. Now, carefully observe the in order. 23 is to the left of 25, 27 is to the right of 25, therefore 23 should be the left child of 25 and 27 should be the right child of 25. Yes, 23 is the left child of 25 and 27 is the right child of 25. Very good. Now the right subtree is completely over. Let us come to the left subtree. Yamon 3, 5, 8, 10, 12, 15, which is the root? See the post order. 10. So 10 is the root. Very good. 10. And here it is 10. And mark the same in the in order. Just see the in order. 3, 5, 8 are to the left of 10. And 12, 10 are to the right of 10. Therefore, 3, 5, 8 should be in the left subtree of 10. And 12, 15 should be in the right subtree of 10. Very good. We will make a note of that. Yes. Now, because it is post order, we have to consider the right one. Among 12 and 15, which is the root? See the post order. 12. It is 12. So mark 12. Mark 12 in the in order also. Now, 15 is to the right of 12. Therefore, 15 should be the right child of 12. Yes, it is the right child of 12. Very good. Now, among 3, 5, 8, which is the root? See the post order. So last one is 5. 5 is the root. Very good. 5 is the root. And we mark 5. And also we mark 5 in the in order. 3 is to the left of 5. And 8 is to the right of 5. Therefore, 3 should be the left child of 5. Very good. And 8 should be the right child of 5. That's all. We have got the binary tree. We were given one post order. We were given one in order. We constructed the uh, tree by continuously, alternatively seeing the post order and in order. Now, we will consider another example where we are given only post order. So we have to construct a tree using this post order. Sir, in the previous two examples, post order and in order both were given. But now only post order is given. Sir, we cannot construct the tree. No, you can construct the tree. Because, carefully understand, we know that the numbers will be in ascending order, in in order. And hence we write the in order as follows. So this is the in order, we know the in order, even though in order is not given, whatever numbers are there in post order, that only you write in ascending order, you will get the in order. That is the property of in order. So from the post order, we got the in order. So now we have post order also, we have in order also. We will construct the tree for this. So which is the root of the tree? See the post order. What is the last element? 100. So 100 is the root. Very good. Mark this 100 in in order also. So all the elements to the left of 100 are in the left subtree. All the elements to the right of 100 are in the right subtree. Very good. Very good. Now, since it is post order, you have to consider the right one. Among 200, 250, 260, 275, 300, which is the root? See the post order. So, what is the last element? 200. So, 200 is the root. Very good. 200. Mark it in, in order. Now, for 200, there are no left elements. Only right elements are there. All the four of them are to the right. Therefore, mark them to the right. Very good. 
Now, among 250, 260, 275, 300, which is the root? See the post order. It is 300. So, therefore, mark 300 as the root. Very good. And also mark 300 in the in order. You can just observe in the in order, all the three elements are to the left of 300. Therefore, take all the three elements to the left subtree of 300. Very good. Now, among 250, 260, 275, which is the root? See the post order. So, it is 250. So, 250 is the root. Very good. 250 is the root. And 250 you mark in in order. And both the elements are to the right of 250. Therefore, you take both of them to the right subtree of 250, 260 and 275. Very good. Now, among 260 and 275, which is the root? See the post order. It is 275. Very good, 275 and mark 275 in in order. Now, when you observe the in order, 260 is to the left of 275. Therefore, you make 260 as the left element of 275. Very good, 260 is the left uh, child. Very good, now the right subtree is completely over. Let us come to the left subtree. Now, among 80, 82, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, which is the root? See the post order. 80 is the root. Yes, we'll make 80 as the root. And 80 is uh, marked in the in order also. Now, all the elements lie to the right of 80. Therefore, all of them you take it to the right subtree. Very good. We have taken it to the right subtree. Now, among 82, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, which is the root? See the post order. 90 is the root. Very good. 90 is the root. Make 90 as the root. And mark it in in order. All the elements are to the left of 90. Therefore, take them all to the Left subtree, yes, left subtree. Now, among 82, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, which is the root? See the post order, 85. Yes, 85, make 85 and 85 also you make it in the in order, mark it in the in order. Now, 82 is to the left of 85, whereas the remaining four elements are to the right of 85. Therefore, take 82 to the left. Yes, 82. Next, remaining four are to the right. Very good. Now, among 86, 87, 88, 89, which is the root? See the post order. It is 87. You mark 87 and you mark 87 in the in order also. Just observe in the in order. To the left of 87, you have 86. Therefore, 86 becomes the left child of 87. And 88, 89 are to the right of 87. Therefore, 88, 89 are in the right subtree. Yes, 86. Next, here 88, 89. Now, among 88, 89, which is the root? See the post order. It is 88. So, mark 88. And also mark it in the in order. 89 is towards the right of 88. Therefore, 89 should be the right child of 88. Yes, it is the right child of 88. Now, the tree is completely constructed. See, in the third example, only post order was given. From the post order, we could get the in order. Because we know in in order, all the elements are in the ascending order. And hence we got the post order in order and using that we got the binary tree also. Very easy constructing a binary tree whenever uh, post order and in order traversal are given. Very easy alternatively see the post order and in order and by careful observation I think you should be able to construct the binary tree quite easily, quite simply, no problem at all.